Good evening, Werner is Small League. I bet you all thought I forgot about you. Not yet. Not yet, I'm afraid. Um, you know, it's been a busy start to the year. Haven't been able to get on as much as I have um, in the previous years. I'm over my butt hurtness after Rick got, uh, you know, kind of screwed me over in last year's deal. Uh, just because, you know, the curse is real. The curse is real. Rick, your team will continue to lose a player every week because the curse is real. Anyway, I'm going to kind of just give an overview of kind of the beginning of this season so far. Now, we've seen kind of an emergence of some new players that, you know, have typically been near the bottom of the of the, the pecking order in our league here for the last three years. Um, Kyle Basa, his team looks unbelievable. 2-0 and start. Um, he's usually perennially, you know, you know, below the sixth, you know, in the, in the league. And he's, he's high this year. I, I'm loving his team. Then you got Timmy, who's always an eight seed, always a seven seed, or missing the playoffs. You never know with that guy. Um, and this year's team, again, just looking unbelievable. 2-0. and um, C.J. Anderson's looking great. Crabtree's looking great. You know, I don't know if he'll be able to continue that success just because Jordan Howard looks terrible and he was a high-round pick for Timmy. Um, we'll see kind of how that goes. Um, and he got the usuals. Um, you got around Jacob Frederick. You know, he's got a one and one record by, you know, kind of just an iffy couple performances there squeaking by. Uh, and then you get Zach around one and one. Um, Cho around one and one. Cody around one and one. Cody always wins in the playoffs. He's never very good in the regular season. Then you got the usual Jessica 0-2. Um, she's probably going to struggle this year, having Braden draft her team. Um, Matt around 1-1. One one. He's usually a slow starter, and he usually comes around near the end. Me, I mean, I lost my – I was below 500 for the first time ever in this league. Um, and as I'm saying, this Carlos Hyde just scored another touchdown, so that's always fantastic as I'm going against Jacob this week. But – Jacob's 2-0. Um, you know, with Jacob, Kyle, and Timmy at 2-0. Um, and those all three teams, I believe, except Timmy. Timmy didn't make the playoffs, but the other two missed the playoffs last year. Um, and Jacob Shalkovich is 0-2, folks. He's 0-2, probably going to be 0-3 this week. Cody's got Sammy Watkins going off right now. But anyway, um, just want to give a preview of these week, this week's matchups here and just kind of go over it. Um, you know Rick's going to end with under a 500 record because he always does. He's never not had an under 500 record. Warner will get out of the lost column. That is my bold prediction. I think Rick's going to try to go without a tight end this week. That's what I, I'm getting out of this, but you never know. Maybe he'll pick one up. Um, Warner still has not put Julian Edelman in his IR slot, which is also you know classic Warner. Rick's lost Greg Olson to the IR, Corey Coleman to the IR, and David Johnson to the IR. Who will it be this week? Uh, I'm going to make that the poll here. Um, and, you know, you guys all can vote on it. Anyway, um, so Rick and Warner. I'm going Warner this week. I think Rick loses a big name again. Um, Jacob Frederick and myself. I'm actually going to go myself this week, surprisingly. I'm going to need a big week out of the boys here. Got a couple great matchups. Matthew Berry loves my team, although Matthew Berry's usually wrong. Um, but Matthew Berry loves it. I'm going me. Kyle and Jessica, I mean, after the 32.5-point performance, that's actually just now. You could be getting more. From Gurley, I'm going Kyle. Uh, I was probably going to go Kyle anyway, but Jessica's team is just trash, so definitely Kyle. Matt and Zach, you know, I'm going Matt this week. Uh, I think he'll get it done. Jacob Shalkovich and Cody, I'm going Cody. Um, and then Choate and Timmy, this is going to be a good one. I'm going Timmy. He's going to stay 3-0 against Choate this week. Um I'm liking Timmy's team this week at least. You know, it's a couple good matchups here. Uh, Duke Johnson Jr.'s in Choate's starting lineup. Brandon Marshall's in there. And those two are just disgusting. I don't know. I hate that. Russell Wilson, nasty. But, you know, Choate's got Matt Bryant, the best kicker in the league, according to him um, and his uh, what is it, rankings. Uh, but anyway, I'll kind of continue to update here i'll update the polls try to get a little bit more active here as your commissioner i've been slacking a little bit and uh hope you guys hold me accountable to 
post some videos here for the rest of the year. Um, anyway, good start to the year. I should have played Gillisley week one. It would have been a much closer matchup with Rick. Maybe scared him a little bit, but, you know, what can you do? I uh, hope you guys all have a great week, and uh, good luck.